The general public takes electricity for granted. I mean, they just flip the switch or they plug something into the wall, and magically, this unlimited source of energy appears. What they don't appreciate is the thousands and thousands of utility workers that are out there working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to make this miracle product available to them. The only way to understand the complexity of this grid is to fly into a large city at night. And all of a sudden, what's invisible by daylight becomes very visible to you. Every single point of light out there they're all connected to a wire that's all connected to a generator that has to be controlled on an instantaneous basis. This industry had its giants at its beginning, so the Edisons, the Westinghouse, the Latimers, they all started to build this infrastructure into something that became universal. This industry has been involved in every innovation of the last century or so. Without electricity, you don't have computers, you don't have electronics, you don't have digital equipment. So there would be no reason for Google if you didn't have computers. You can't have computers without electricity. And so it's that interrelation that is driving innovations in the economy. What we're starting to see now in the early part of the 21st century is the basic electric industry is being integrated with the telecommunications industry, with the electronics industry, with the computing industry. It will create a whole new range of opportunities that we haven't even thought about before. I think we are at an inflection point in the world of electric transportation. The development of the plug-in electric hybrid, which solves the concerns about, well, how far is this car gonna go before it runs out of electricity? It's clean, it's cheap, it's very convenient once you get the battery technology there so that you have virtually unlimited capacity. So I think it's easy to imagine that in 10 years, there will be a million electric vehicles on the road. And 20 or 30 years from now, it could be the dominant source of power for mobile applications. Tomorrow, electricity and the grid that supports the distribution of electricity is going to be absolutely vital to helping us make the transformation to whatever this new world is going to look like. One of the technologies associated with a smart grid is the so-called smart meter. These are meters that can transmit information to and from the customer's home and to and from the customer. In the world of tomorrow, the moment you have an outage, whether you're at home or on vacation, we'll know and be able to start to dispatch our equipment to come out and fix the problem in, in your neighborhood. This transformation of the electric utility industry will really change the relationship between consumers and their understanding of electricity. Uh, they will be part of the process to understand how much electricity is being used, how much is it costing, how can they control all these things to make their lives better. And I think for our industry, uh, it's going to be very good because it will be a recognition of the role that we play in every one of our customers' lives. It'll be a whole new way to think about electricity and a way I think that people will now start to understand how important electricity is to their lives. How brilliant the founders of this industry were in starting to build something that could be so durable for, for over a century. We're now at the place where we need to take the durability, reliability, and effectiveness of this grid to the next level to support another century of growth and innovation. And we need to be part of that, and we need to stay ahead of the curve in thinking what needs to be next in order to support all these great new technologies that are coming along. Electricity is powering the people powers our economy. It powers innovation. It's going to power our homes in ways that we never imagined. It's going to be powering our transportation system in the future. So truly, electricity is powering the people.